Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time. So uh, if you're out west, good morning. Thank you for tuning in. If you're out in the eastern time zone, appreciate you taking some time this afternoon to join us for a very exciting presentation today on Scenic Eclipse, the world's first discovery yacht. Now, for everybody on today, folks, I just want to let you know that the presentation is being recorded and we will uh, share it with you afterward as well, too. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Now, what I'd like to do today is give you a little bit of an introduction to Scenic, who we are as a company. I'd like to highlight as well some of our special design and technology features that have been specifically created for the Scenic Eclipse. We'll talk a little bit about the all-inclusive ocean experience. We'll go through the onboard experience as well. I'll show you a few popular itineraries and highlight some special offers. So for those of you who don't know me, folks, my name is Jared Gelfand. I've been in the travel industry for eight years now, and I've been very privileged to travel to over 50 countries and five different continents. And I'm very, very excited to start traveling again. And I'm sure many of you are as well too. So we're, we're excited for the future, but I do want to make a quick little point on health and safety. So, uh, I really could spend the entire presentation just on health and safety, but that's not the focus of today. But if you want to learn more uh, about the measures that we're going to take once we resume sailing, you could go to scenic.ca, search book with confidence, and you'll see all the different protocols that we will implement once we resume sailing. It's important to note that nothing here is written in stone. It's not all concrete. As we know, we're changing every single day. The world constantly evolves. So uh, rest assured, though, that we're working closely with Cruise Lines International Association, international government health agencies, so that the protocols for health and safety are met and exceeded. And that's not just for our guests, but that's for our staff and anybody special coming on board as a, a presentation or a lecturer or something like that. So talk to your travel professional, go on scenic.ca if you want to learn more. And uh, if you are interested in going more in depth, we could have a side conversation after that as well too. But let's get into more of the fun stuff. So the Scenic Company, Scenic Luxury Cruises and Tours. I hope most of you have sailed with us before, but if you haven't, I want to give you a little history on the company. So we've been in business for over 30 years and we started off as a motor coach tour company in Australia. And then we got into river cruising and today we have over 500 cruises that touch all seven continents. And our most recent uh, venture is going with the ocean space. So the luxury yacht, the scenic eclipse, as you can see I'm holding it right in my hands here. But uh, look folks, you need to experience the all-inclusive way of scenic. Now I encourage you to go home and read Travel Luxury Magazine or go on cruisecritic.com and, and do your research and see what that all-inclusive experience is really like. Because sometimes today, it gets thrown around the term all-inclusive and not everybody fully has a grasp of what it means. So Scenic offers that. And I'm going to get into that throughout our presentation today. First, I just wanted to show you a little picture here of one of our captains on the Scenic Eclipse. This is Erwan Laruzic. Believe it or not, he actually resides in Vancouver when he's not sailing on the Eclipse. I had the pleasure of talking with him last December when the Eclipse was docked in Croatia. And uh, he was doing work out of one of the suites there. And I was laughing at him because he wasn't staying in the, the most luxurious suite of the mall. He was just in a regular room. And I was thinking, yeah, you got to take full advantage. But uh, he's just one of the captains here. He's a great gentleman. Uh, I think you're going to love the open interaction uh, that you have with the staff. And I'll talk about that in a second as well. But let's talk about the history. So our owner, Glenn Moroni, decided back in 2012 that he had this vision for this discovery yacht. We had already proven ourselves in river cruising and we want to get into the ocean space. And he had visions of all these different toys that you can have on like helicopters and submarines and kayaks and just a really, it's not an expedition ship like other areas that sail the polar regions. It's really a discovery yacht. So uh, a few years later, it came to fruition and uh, I'm going to show you some pictures as well. But Let's start with the safety and the technology features that the Eclipse has to offer because it's very unique. To start off, there are two custom-built stabilizers that are 50% larger than any other ship that sails these regions. So it reduces the motion once the, the tide is coming or the waves are coming in or the wind, there's wind resistance. So it's great in that regard. But most importantly, the Eclipse is rated a polar class level six. And that's the highest rating you can have for a luxury vessel to go through these Arctic polar waters. So 
some great features there, but uh, a few other additional ones that I think you'll find interesting. For one, we have a unique global positioning system, a great GPS that allows the Eclipse to hold her position in the water, meaning that we don't need to shoot an anchor overboard anymore, which anchors can hurt marine life. It can disrupt the seabed floor. So we've got that state-of-the-art GPS, which will allow us to hold our position and safely navigate uh, the polar waters as well. But also what's really interesting, you'll see here that both thrusters, approximately 100% more powerful than a conventional cruise ship of this size. So some really great technology that's been implemented. There's an electronic Azipod propulsion system and uh, just a few uh, of the features that I mentioned there, but there's so much more. So really state-of-the-art technology. And before, like I mentioned, there is that opportunity for open interaction. We've got the open bridge where you can actually come interact with the captain, Captain Erwan, and uh, some of his crew. And you can see the instrument panel and really get a sense of what it's like to be a captain and, and go through these areas of the world. And uh, hearing it from, from the captain himself is really a fun experience. He's a charismatic gentleman. I think you'll like talking to him quite a bit. So open interaction on the open bridge. Now, let's go back to that all-inclusive experience. Like I was saying, with Scenic, everything is taken care of. Now, on the Eclipse, there's a few things that actually will cost you out of pocket, but don't worry, I'm going to point those out so everybody's expectations are set. But today, I'm going to show you what it looks like inside the luxury suites, the dining experiences, the beverages, the indulgent spaces. We'll go through some popular itineraries but you don't have to worry once you're on board. Everything is taken care of. Transfers to and from the airport, gratuities, your, your premium drinks, all your food, all your excursions. Now take a look at this. So when we're looking at the scenic eclipse here, you'll notice that there are 10 different dining options available for you. We've got an onboard marina. We've got toys like the helicopters and the Zodiacs and the kayaks and a submarine on board as well too. How cool is that? So, so many different features. But the other thing that's really unique about the eclipse is that she only takes 220 guests or so. So it's a very intimate experience. A lot of people think ocean cruise, there's five, 6,000 people on board, it's only 220. Now, when we're sailing the Arctic region, we're only going to have 200 on board. So you become a family very quickly with your fellow travelers. And although she seems like a massive yacht, you'll, you'll become very familiar uh, quickly and be able to navigate around on board. But let me take you inside because this is really exciting, the onboard experience. Now, to start off, no matter what suite that you book yourself into, you will have one of our butlers servicing you. Now, our butlers are tremendous people. They'll give you an orientation when you get on the ship. They'll check you into your suite. They can unpack your suitcase. They can arrange laundry for you. They can shine your shoes. They can book you into specialty restaurants or get you signed up for an excursion that you want. So the butlers are here to enhance your experience, really to make sure that your needs and wants are exceeded. You're gonna become very friendly with them. Uh, they are wonderful people, and they're very detail-oriented. Now, let's start off with our lead-in category, the veranda suite, a private veranda here. You'll notice that we have a separate sleeping quarter that's separated from the living room space. So you do have a living room. You do have your sleeping quarters. Uh, there's an ensuite bathroom as well, to a shower with a vanity. And the veranda suite is located more toward the mid uh, of the ship. So if you're, you're interested in being more into the midsection, that's where you'll find the veranda suites over here. Now, moving on up to the spa suites, we're getting significantly larger as you can see. But uh, one thing that's exclusive for the spa suites is that we have uh, the double-sized Philip Stark designed spa bath. So that's just in here, the special feature exclusive for these suites. Here's another look from a different angle. As you can see, very spacious. The decor inside is modern, it's chic, very, very elegant. Now here's our panorama suite, over a thousand square feet large. So we're really getting into bigger spaces here. Now the panorama suite is overlooking the bow of the yacht and you'll find it located on deck six and deck eight, but very spacious curved terrace. Um, one of the nice features about booking into the panorama is that you'll be given priority selection in our specialty restaurants and you'll also get priority selection on our excursions as well too. So uh, that's a few extra features plus VIP embarkation and disembarkation once you're coming on and off the Discovery Yacht Scenic Eclipse. But when it comes to the pinnacle of the accommodations, folks, this is what you want to book, the owner's suite. It's over 2,000 square feet large. It's 
way bigger than most condos in downtown Toronto here. But uh, there's an there's a dining room inside the suite that can seat up to eight guests. You have a personalized mini bar that is restocked every single day. Now all the suites have a mini bar that's included, but here's a personalized mini bar that you can select. Uh, and like I said, restocked every day. There's a dual steam shower, a therapeutic spa bath. There's a guest powder room. And when you're booking the owner suite, you will get guaranteed dining at your uh, guaranteed choice of your top dining selection. So you'll be placed in the restaurant of your selection and also guaranteed shore excursions. So you don't have to worry about that at all. And uh, the, the highlight for me of the suite is the outdoor private terrace. It's over 600 square feet large. You'll notice that you've got comfortable seating that you can relax and gaze out at the uh, scenery, and then you've got your own private jacuzzi tub as well. So you'll definitely want to bring your swimming trunks, relax in there, call your butler to bring you a drink, and just take in the marvel of the destination of where we are sailing. So those are the different suites that we have available for you. Some other features that we have on board the Scenic Eclipse, like the theater, a movie theater. We might have some entertainment come, so maybe uh, a live performance or a lecture. We can watch a movie. We've got the dual projectors on the ceiling. Those chairs are reclining leather chairs and they swivel around or swizzle around and there's cup holders in them. So you can't really see, but if you look straight to the back of the image where the lights are kind of shining on us, um, there's a bar located back there. So if you want snacks and drinks, well, you don't have to go too far to get it. There's two in and out exits, uh, entrances and exits on both sides of the theater as well. So state of the art movie theater, uh, which will have some entertainment in here too. Now, for those of you who want to become one with mind, body, and soul, we do have a studio available where you can do yoga and Pilates. We've got the towels. We've got the mats. It's, um, you'll notice bright lighting of the floor-to-ceiling windows in here. So come down, do a stretch, relax, and uh, get some tranquility. We do have the gym on board as well, too. Now, it's not very popular, but it is equipped with everything that you need. I say it's not popular because most people are usually out exploring or doing different things. And every time I walk by the gym, it's, it's crickets in there. But we do have the full service gym for you. So treadmills and a weight rack. There's towels, towels and water readily available for you. So if you want to come do some exercise while you're sailing with us, absolutely, you can use the gym. Now, we do have the indulgent spas. So our spa space is almost 6,000 square feet large. So that's huge. So after you've done a workout or after you've done some stretching and yoga and you want some peace and tranquility, come on down to the spa. Now, folks, I mentioned I'd point out any extras on the Scenic Eclipse. If you book yourself for a massage, that would be an out-of-pocket expense, all right? So just, just have that uh, in the back of your head. There's a whole list of features that are offered in the spa. Uh, most are complimentary, but if you want something like a massage or a treatment or something along those lines, that will be an out-of-pocket expense. But you can use the thermal lounge chairs. We've got the temperature plunge pools that are really fun. And then if you want after a workout or something, come to the sauna or the steam room, relax, take a load off. We have a male section. We have a female section. Got the towels. You can notice the decor all around. It's really going to complete that Nordic experience for you. Now, if you want to go outside, there's plenty of space on the decks for uh, relaxing. You can call your butlers over to get a drink or find your way to a bar, enjoy the sun chairs, maybe take a dip in one of the pools. It's not really conducive for swimming, but if you just want to relax and, and cool off, uh, bring your swimming trunks and go, go for a dip on, on the pool deck here. Now, this is one of my favorite areas on the ship, the observatory. Uh, you'll again notice there's a bar in the back, there's comfortable seating, there's books, there's telescopes. So if you want to go and gaze, depending on what time of year you're going, maybe you'll see the northern lights or this or that. I, I mean, there's plenty to look through in the telescopes that you'll enjoy. So spend a lot of time in here, use the complimentary Wi-Fi, read a book, have a drink, look through the telescopes and just take in the beauty. Okay, our scenic lounge. Now, this is really great. This is really the heart of the ship where we come together uh, for drinks and just comfortable seating. There is a large coffee and tea station available. There's a self-playing piano. And take a look at the design of the tables and the chairs. It's been custom built by Walter Knoll and Tom Dixon specifically for the Scenic Eclipse. 
Now take a look to the right, you'll see that bar. That's a crystal quartz backlit bar. There's over a hundred different whiskeys that are there as well too. So come to the lounge, relax, have a drink, enjoy some classical music and chat with your friends. Now, when it comes to the, uh, the premium drinks or the, the, the drinks, essentially that you can get anything that you want. Now there's a few top level drinks that might cost out of pocket, but generally everything's included here for you. There are 10 to 12 different whiskeys and 10 different gins and 10 different sakis. You could get non-alcoholic beverages. You could get fruit juice. You could get specialty wine. You can get champagne. There's specialty tea and coffee and mocktails and cocktails. So really there's no limit to what you can order on board as far as the drinking experience goes. And like I mentioned, you do have that mini bar included in your suite as well. And that comes equipped with everything that you might need, scotch, rum, vodka, gin, little Cokes and Pringles, chips like that. So a uh, great experience for the dining and beverages. Reverse the words there, because now we're getting into the dining experience. So Elements Fine Dining, this is uh, one of our main points of dining. It's great for Italian and seafood. Uh, there is a little waiting room and a cheese room. So once you come in, you have cheese, you hang up your coat, you come on in. You look to the back, there's actually a little private section. So if you have a special occasion or something, arrange that with your butler. We could set you up in the private area. But Elements Fine Dining is definitely for uh, Italian and seafood kind of dishes. Lumiere, uh, Lumiere is our classical French restaurant. And one thing that you'll notice once you come into Lumiere, which means light in French, by the way, but once you walk in, there's great pieces of art. There's a Quebecois artist who put together this piece that's totally created of spoons. I think there's over 5,000 spoons to put together this piece of art. You'll see it once you get in there, but it's really neat. There's a private dining area as well, too, in Lumiere. So if you're looking for a private experience, um, you can do that. But check out the bar you'll notice the way it's lit up and that's Lumiere. That's what it's all about. There's all the different specialty drinks that you can enjoy here as well. Now the chef's table is by invitation only. So you need to be booked in like the owner's one bedroom suite, for example, to be invited here, but it's the open kitchen concept. So you're looking into the galley and you can see the chefs that are bustling, running around behind the scenes, you know, preparing all the food for you and they'll come out and it's an intimate experience for you here at the chef's table. And then if you're into Asian fusion, this is one of my favorite restaurants on board the Phoenix Eclipse, Coco's Asian Fusion. So we have semi-private dining, which is available for you. There's the sushi and the sake bar and also the private teppanyaki grill, which will see up to eight people per session. So Asian fusion, if you're into sushi, if you're into teppanyaki, this is really a fun interactive experience that you'll have. If you're looking for something just like a quick snack, for example, a sandwich or some pastries, a gelato, a drink or something along those lines. On deck five, we have the Azure Bar and Cafe. And it's really just more for snacks and uh, a quick little thing for the uh, on the go. If, uh, if you don't want to go to one of the restaurants for a, a full dining experience, you could come here throughout the day and pick up little treats, have a seat, look outside and uh, enjoy yourself. So that's, that's uh, the Azure Cafe. Okay, now let's talk about our discovery team. This is unique to the scenic eclipse. We've got great experts that are gonna lead everybody out on excursions. There's 16 different people. The discovery team, folks, this is really the backbone to our incredible voyages. They are experts in, the, in their fields. For example, we could have historians, we could have geologists, we could have a marine biologist, we could have a naturalist, we could have photographers. So all types of different experts that will be part of our discovery team to enhance your experience. They'll be given lectures on board. They can take you through on the zodiacs and the kayaks as you go through the marine rich waters. And uh, they'll take you on nature walks and bring you to remote communities that you've never seen before. So really be a sponge when you're around the discovery team. Pick their brain. Ask them a lot of questions. They love what they do. They're here to enhance your experience. When it comes to some fun toys, like I talked about on board, we do have helicopters, two helicopters on board, in fact. Now, folks, this will be an out-of-pocket expense. If you want to book yourself for a 20, 30, or 40-minute helicopter ride, that is available for purchase. This is the T2 EC-130 single-engine helicopter. Like I said, there's two of them on board. We have a hangar that's stored right on the scenic eclipse. So once one chopper goes up with six passengers, 
we pull the other chopper out and we can take another six to go. Now it does vary in price depending on where you are in the world, but to give you a ballpark estimate, you're probably looking between three hundred and fifty to nine hundred and fifty dollars, depending on where you are and how long that you want to go for. It's not mandatory by any means, but if you're looking for that bird's eye experience, definitely go on the helicopter. But my favorite toy that we have on board is the Sub Seven, the U Works Sub Seven. It's been custom designed, optimal for sightseeing, and she can sail or she can dive depths to about a thousand feet below the sea surface. Look at the glass dome in the image here. She can also take six guests per dive. And um, again, the range of cost probably is the same as a helicopter. You're looking between four to $900 approximately, but we have one of these on board and I think you're going to enjoy it a lot. I know uh, before we had to spend our sailing due to COVID, the submarine was by far the most popular uh, toy that everybody uh, was talking about. So you're going to enjoy that. Okay, let's keep moving on. So uh, if you want to get in a good workout, we do have the kayaks available, great arm workout here. You can go off with the discovery team and go on land for a walking tour. We also have the Zodiacs on board. But what's most important to note, folks, is that on board the Eclipse, we do have the Climate Control Discovery Center. And that what that is, is that gives you the opportunity to get changed on and off, the, get changed in and out of your clothing while on the Eclipse. So we will provide the parkas, the gloves, hats. We'll give you the foot gear that you need. So you don't need to worry about bringing all this for you. But the most important thing about the Discovery Center on board the Eclipse is that it gives you more time for exploration. If you do your research and take a look at some other vessels, what they do is you have to disembark your ship and then you have to go to a marina and then you get all geared up and then you board the Zodiacs and you're losing a couple of hours of exploration time because you're going to and from the marina. But we have this on board the scenic eclipse. So more time for discovery, more time for exploration. And we've got you covered with all the gear that you need as well, too. So when it comes to the onshore experience, the excursions are all included. It's up to you to decide. You don't need to worry about it. You just check off what you want. Maybe you want to go through a walking tour, or maybe you'd rather do the Zodiacs, or whatever you decide to do is all included, with the exception of what I just pointed out for you. But your excursions on land are definitely included. So you just check off what you want. And now let's take a look at some of the itineraries. Now, we have so many different out there that I encourage you to go talk to your travel professional or go on scenic.ca and read through the different itineraries. I'm just going to give you sort of a snapshot of the different um, itineraries that we have here. So they do range anywhere from 13 to 20 days in the Antarctic region. And you can see we have departure dates from November 2022 into 2023. So if you're planning well in advance, you could book nice and early. But taking a look at Antarctica in depth, this is a 12-day program where we have 11 days on the scenic eclipse. We're flying in and out of Buenos Aires in Argentina. If you want to do some post-nights or pre-nights, absolutely, you can arrange that. But we're sailing down the Drake Passage through the South Orkney Islands over to Port Lockroy, and then we head back off the Drake over into Argentina. So it's a shorter program, but definitely well worth it. But my advice to you folks is if you're going to sail the Antarctic region only once in your lifetime, Make sure you, that you do it properly. Make sure that you're seeing as much as you possibly can because how often are you going to get to go back out there? So this is the itinerary that I highly recommend. It's Antarctica and South Georgia in the Falkland Islands. So if you are a wildlife enthusiast, this is what you want to go see. If you take a look behind the map or to the left, you'll notice those king penguins that are on the black sand beaches. So you're going to have lots of close interactive uh, encounters with wildlife and if you're into wildlife like I said this is really where you want to go and see so we'll learn a little bit about the different wildlife for example we've got these whales here and um, depending what time of year you want to go you might be able to see different types of things for example in December to January you can see the chicks hatching and the seal pups being birthed and then more toward February and March is when the whales and seals are at their peak and that's when they start migrating north in early March so Depending on what you want to see, uh, what time of year, you can kind of strategize exactly when you want to go. But uh, I, I'm a huge wildlife uh, enthusiast myself. I love learning about nature. I love learning about the, the animals itself. Take a look at the elephant seal here. If you believe it, 
some males, adult males, can grow to be four tons, which is insane. I mean, that weighs more than a car. And then they can also hold their breath for more than 100 minutes as they go under the water. And you learn about their uh, the fur and the skin and how can they last in these temperatures. It's really absolutely amazing. So the Antarctica region, ladies and gentlemen, is by far the most biodiverse location in the world. So you're really going to enjoy heading out there. We also do Arctic in the fjords. So uh, here you can see a range between 12 and 21 days, depending on where you want to go, and what you want to see. Again, for 2022 into 2023. Here's one of my most favorite itineraries. It's Copenhagen to Reykjavik. This, um, the, the high Arctic really is, is such a, an incredible program here because uh, there is lots of wildlife in here as well, too. So South Greenland's wildlife is really uh, offers some of the most spectacular and unspoiled scenery that the earth has to offer that you'll get to see. Uh, rich culture, great history, learn about the Vikings. You can see some of the, some rarely seen geology that's not known to the rest of the world. So lots of unique experiences in here. You'll get to discover the natural wonders of this world uh, and the wildlife to, to boot. So that's, uh, the, that's um, the high Arctic, exploring the high Arctic. Now, if you're more into uh, Europe and Mediterranean experience, if you don't want to go for the, the Arctic and the colder regions, we do have uh, Mediterranean and Europe over here too, ranging from nine to 11 days, just depending on what you want to see and where you want to go. So again, please go online, talk to your travel professional, read through the itineraries in depth to see what strikes you the most. But here's one of my favorites for this uh, Europe and Mediterranean region. This is uh, Rome to Athens. So two iconic cities, as you can see on the tail end of, or the beginning and the tail end of our cruise here, eight nights on the scenic eclipse, starting off in Rome, we sail down the Sorrento coast, we head over to Giardini Naxos, which you can bathe in the waters over there, see the beauty of Greece as we do some island hopping, uh, Fiscardo and Santorini and over to Athens. So this is uh, an itinerary that's rich, full of great history. Long ago, along the Mediterranean, uh, the islands and ports were once landing places for endless tides of invaders who were coming for the land here. So you'll get to learn about that rich history and see some of some unique trading ports along the way as well, too. But what I like is you get to see these ancient ruins and ghostly shapes that are wrapped in myths and legends. So it's just such a spot full of rich, steeped history that I think you'll really like. And then the beauty to boot is definitely one of the most intriguing aspects as well. Now, shifting over to the Americas, so you can see the eclipse does the entire world. Um, we do the Americas, again, ranging depending on how long you want to go for, anywhere from 9 to 15, 16 days, just depending on the itinerary. Lots of different options here for you to choose. I'm going to point out one of our more popular ones, uh, the Inside Passage, the Adventures of the Inside Passage. So Alaska, again, very diverse wildlife. You'll be amazed by the majestic wonders uh, such as the elk and the caribou and the sea otters and the orcas and the humpback whales. So uh, lots of wildlife experiences and encounters to see over here. We'll uh, do some sailing and we'll experience some land and sea adventure as well as we work our way down the coast and wrap things up over in Vancouver, British Columbia. So 14 nights um, on the scenic eclipse here from Alaska over to Canada. Now, folks, let me talk about some of the special offers that we have in place. We do have our early bird special. So I'm going to read the columns over here just to make it very simple. So if you're looking from the left to the right on the itinerary side from selected 2022 and 2023 voyages, you can save up to 20%, which is incredible. But for the super early bird, the stipulation is you must book and pay in full 12 months prior to departure. So it is limited to uh, specific suites and departure dates. So please contact your travel professional or give us a call at Scenic and we can look up availability for you. But the super early bird will give you that discount as long as you're willing to pay 12 months prior in advance. If you're not comfortable putting down full payment 12 months in advance, that's totally okay. And you could still book the early bird special. It's valid until May 31st, 2021. So you've got a little bit of time. And uh, you can save up to 10% on your selected voyages. So please talk to your travel professional or give us a call at Scenic. We'll take a look at the dates and availability, and we'll see what's the best offer available for you. The ultimate voyages, you can see as well, save up to 20% or the guaranteed 10% early bird. So the ultimate voyage, uh, you can get that guaranteed 10% opposed to up to 10% with the early bird. 
So contact your travel professional, give us a call. Now for today's show special, we do have extra savings. So when you're calling your travel professional or when you're calling Scenic, I need you to write down the quote, S Web Info 3, Scenic Web Info 3. And that will give you your exclusive webinar bonus for today. And what that is, is it's $250 per couple as a discount. And your offer is combinable with current promotion. So this webinar offer of $250 per couple, you can definitely contribute to your super early bird or your early bird savings. But again, conditions apply. So please reach out to your travel professional or give us a call and we'll take a look at uh, the availability for you. Now, the one important thing to note with the offer here today is that it's valid only for two weeks from today. So you have two weeks to make up your mind if you want to take advantage of this exclusive webinar offer. Now, that early bird and super early bird is still going to be good until the end of May. But if you want the extra savings of $125 per person or $250 a couple, uh, you'll definitely want to book within the next two weeks. So reach out to your travel professional or give us a phone call. Now, the last thing I want to talk about here is book with confidence. And I'm going to read this here. So the flexible booking policy for 2022 and 2023 scenic eclipse bookings, you can defer your travel plans by transferring to an alternate departure date or itinerary up to 60 days prior to your cruise commencing with no scenic fee. And there might be third party fees that apply to that. So let's say you've booked a hotel or an, a flight or something, anything that's not included uh, that scene, anything that's not within Scenic's control, we can't eliminate those costs, but we can control what we can control. So just keep that in the back of your head that third-party fees might apply. It excludes South America land touring, just as an FYI. And we have included complimentary deposit protection plan. Normally, this is valued at 250 per person, okay, or 500 a couple. And it's been included complimentary for new 2022 or 2023 scenic eclipse bookings that are made before May 31st. So what the complimentary deposit protection plan allows you to do is before final payment, you can change your departure date without a scenic fee as well too. Third party fees might be applied, but this gives you the ability to uh, move it without any sort of scenic fee. And then finally, if you shift your eyes over to the right hand of the screen, you'll notice our Platinum Protection Plan. This is brand new to Scenic, and it's something that we heard from our guests. It was uh, a comment that constantly came up about the fact that people didn't necessarily want to put down money, it's certainly a full payment. And if the voyage was suspended or canceled due to COVID, that their money would be tied up in a future travel credit. So we created the Platinum Protection Plan. And for 595 per person for 2022 and 2023 scenic eclipse voyages, you can add this plan on. And if the trip is canceled due to health reasons, or if you're impacted by COVID-19, so just keep, let that sink in. If the cruise is impacted by COVID-19 and you cancel 31 days prior to departure, you can receive a hundred percent cash refund, less your airline fees and less the platinum protection plan so again no third third party fees will be covered but you can get a hundred percent of your money back if you cancel between 15 and 30 days prior to departure you can receive a 70 percent refund cash uh, minus the cost of the platinum protection plan and minus the cost of any third party fees now please take the time and go online to scenic.ca backslash, backslash platinum dash protection dash plan and read carefully through the terms and conditions. I wanna emphasize this. The Platinum Protection Plan is not a substitute for travel insurance. You still need to go get travel insurance, but what this does is it gives you the ability to receive a cash refund. And if your cruise is suspended for a COVID reason or something like a health reason, your monies won't be tied up in a future travel credit. You can actually get that money back. So if you need clarification on this, go online or reach out to your travel professional for more information. So folks, that brings us to the conclusion, exactly 35 minutes, which is what I wanted. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to come on today. I hope this was insightful and I hope you got to see some wonderful itineraries that give you some interest. Like I said, I just gave you sort of a, an overview, but I want you to go online, read through the itineraries in depth, talk to your travel professional. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please make sure that you reach out to them or give us a call directly. Now, I do also have a prize to give away today. So the winner of $100 is Pauline O'Dwyer. 
Pauline, congratulations on winning the $100 gift card. I'm going to reach out to you personally via email to get your address so we can mail that gift card over, uh, over to you as soon as we can. So I appreciate everybody taking the time today, and uh, we look forward to seeing you on board. Thanks again, and have a great afternoon.